Welcome to the next episode for my top 5. Today's feature, the top 5 DC comic book deaths in my PC. Kicking things off at number 5, Batman Incorporated number 8. This is a death of Damian Wayne, the biological son of Bruce Wayne and Talia al Ghul. Created by writer Grant Morrison, Damian dies at the hands of the Heretic, an adult Damian clone created by Talia. Gotham City has become chaos as Talia is trying to destroy it. Damien dies protecting a whole lot of people. As Grant Morrison puts it, he saved the world. He does his job as Robin. He dies an absolute hero. Coming in at number 4 is the one-shot Countdown to Infinite Crisis, Death of Ted Kord. Created by Steve Ditko, Ted Kord is the second Blue Beetle. He's a genius level inventor and a former Justice League member. He investigates a theft of funds from his company that has left him nearly bankrupt. By the end of the investigation, he finds himself at a castle base for the Covert Operations Agency Checkmate. Here he is captured and is offered a chance by Maxwell Lord as a non-powered hero to join him on his quest to stop metahumans around the world. Ted refuses and Maxwell Lord puts a hole in his head. At number 3, Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7. With the iconic cover by George Perez, here we have the death of Supergirl killed at the hands of the Anti-Monitor. An epic battle rages to save the DC multiverse. The Anti-Monitor defeats Superman and Supergirl comes to his rescue. During her beatdown of the Anti-Monitor, she destroys his world-killing machine. Unfortunately, she gets distracted and gets blasted to death. At number 2, we have the death of Barry Allen Flash. Another Crisis on Infinite Earths comic, this is issue number 8. The saga of our heroes battling the Anti-Monitor to save the DC Multiverse continues here. Flash has been taken prisoner, but eventually he escapes. Flash runs faster than he ever has in order to destroy the Anti-Monitor's new weapon, the Anti-Matter Cannon. The influx of energy is just too much for his body. As he destroys the weapon, he phases into different time streams before his body eventually fades out of existence. Once again, another sacrifice to save billions of lives across the DC multiverse. Coming in at number one, I've shared about this comic book before and I will share about it again. The death of Robin, Jason Todd. It is simply my favorite of the bunch because it reminds me of my childhood. I remember when my friends and my brothers were talking about the poll DC created on whether or not to have them kill off Jason Todd. My brother bought it and we all read it. And we saw that everyone voted to kill him off. That's what this reminds me of. We should all know by now he and his mother died at the hands of the Joker. Hindsight, this was always the best decision. Why? Because we got Red Hood out of it. As with all comic book deaths, they eventually come back. They don't ever stay dead. As long as we are entertained and their deaths are meaningful, hopefully they leave us readers wanting more. So let me know what are some of your favorite DC comic book deaths down in the comments. And that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out.